For tying the CDC and elk, I start with the Chemco 102Y in a size 15. Most other brands, this would be a 14. The thread is a brown 6 aught. And the fly is simply started by attaching the thread just behind the eye and then simply running it down, down the shank. And then the waist trimmed. The first material tied in is a CDC feather with a rounded tip. I hold the butt in my left hand and stroke the barbs up until there's a little tuft. The tuft is tied down with one, with one, two turns. The third turn cuts underneath over the shank but underneath the tips lifting them up create a little bump and the fourth one goes over and locks it into place. Simply run the thread back to the eye. Next clip on the hackle pliers and start wrapping the body. Initially it will resemble a dub body till I come to about halfway up the shank. That's when the loose barbs come into play. They are simply stroked back with each successive turn. Till we reach just a bare stem. Take turns. Hold back the barbs and make a hard locking turn and trim the clip off the butt. The material that will form the wing is a fine tipped deer hair. Simply clip off a small bunch. Do not overdo the wing on this fly. This will be well ample. stroking out the under fur and then into a hair stacker so that I can even the tips. The wing on this fly does not extend past the bend of the hook so measure the wing length transfer to the other hand then there'll be a straight cut little bit in front of the nail, like so, which I line up with the front of the eye. Next go, one and a half, two hard turns. The third turn cuts through at about 45 degrees and the fourth turn cuts under the butts and finally, a three turn whip finish. Which completes the fly. A CDC and elk.